proceeding. Huh? devotion washes over you, and with every surge, you feel a presence grow in response. Purge, priest! Fully says, your god wants proof, wants blood. These beings are Kuatoa, former Mind Flayer slaves that manifest their gods through sheer belief. Murder demands sacrifice. You will be an offering for the great god Boal. Well, don't look at me. Tread carefully now. Not even a god would survive sacrificing me. It's simple. Make an offering or become one. Not treading carefully, then. Out with a bang it is. Well met. I am a magical projection of Gale of Waterdeep, and if you see this manifestation, that means I have prematurely perished. However, for reasons that cannot be disclosed, it is of vital importance that my death be remedied at your earliest convenience. You may rest assured that I do not speak out of self-preservation alone. 
Many lives depend on my return to the living within the span of two days. I trust I've made myself clear. A grave error in judgment indeed, which will pretend was never spoken. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my return. But such is the value and rarity that it is protected by a multi-layered security protocol. I will now explain the protocol. Step one is to retrieve from my person a pouch I wear over my heart. Next, you must unthread the purple seam that seals it in a counterclockwise fashion. Do not touch any other colored strand. Inside the pouch, you will find a folded letter and a tiny flute. Unfold the letter and note the markings in the top and bottom corners. These are the notes you will need to play. Starting from the bottom right, play the notes in correct order, clockwise this time. Upon completion of the tune, a magma method will appear, which will pose the following question. Iskcha Chisnaga. This is ignorant for what is my name? The answer is Kasi Trak Ash. Pronounce the name correctly and the method will breathe on the letter. Stay clear because the little scamp can melt metal. Words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of true resurrection. Use it to bring me back to life. So it is. Our lives depend on it. Now, repeat my instructions back to me, please. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. And next. Right. You then have access to the letter and the flute. Go on. Did you listen at all? Bottom right. Quite right. You start at the bottom right corner and remember to play them clockwise. After that? Correct. But pay attention to the trap part. It's back of the throat. And so we have gone through the necessary steps again. Let's hope practice makes perfect in the end. Best of luck with the protocol. May my cold, dead hands soon be refilled with the warmth of life so they can shake yours in gratitude. My faith will guide me.
pouch is sealed with differently colored strands of thread. As the purple thread becomes undone, the pouch opens to reveal a letter and flute inside. This is the flute Gail kept on his person. A faint magical aura envelops its wooden surface. The flute awaits with bated breath. No harm in a little conversation. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? <laughs> 